Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain, a brand new Jazzware review once again. If you know anything about Jazzware right now, they are unstoppable. We're already on series four of World of Halo and all of the footage today is brought to you by Halo Collector. There are seven figures in this set, but two of them are Master Chief. So we're only gonna cover the metallic green one today, but this is a really exciting assortment from Jazzware World of Halo. They're their three and three quarter inch figures and they all work perfectly with each other. There are so many in the range now, so many extending past just the World of Halo series. But this is series four, another six to add to your collection. And we're gonna start with the figure that I thought was the biggest surprise from this set and the one that has redeemed itself compared to its production images. This Elite Ultra, when I first saw the pictures of this figure, I thought he looked very strange. But in packaging, he looks fantastic. So Kevin is gonna break these open one by one and then we're gonna see some nice close-up shots of each figure individually. I'll go through the accessories. We can see the cinder shot there and let's bust this open and check out the Elite Ultra. So reminiscent of the old Halo Reach days. Like, honestly, I know Halo Infinite has been borrowing different art styles from different Halo games, but nothing rings more true of the Reach inspiration than this Elite Ultra. Like, this is straight out of Halo Reach. Those red armor detailings are fantastic. They're definitely the highlight of this figure, but the colors don't stop there, of course. There are many different shades of gray and black that run around his jumpsuit and the accents of his armor. And then one more shout out to the blue lights on his back and his eyes. He looks super menacing and he has the brand new cinder shot that up until recently when Halo Infinite released, we didn't even know how this fired aside from some leaks online. So it's really just gray that Jazzware, they almost never repeat their weapons. Like every single figure comes with brand new weapons. They are just trying out as many molds as possible. I have it under good authority that Jazzware has a lot of funding right now. Microsoft are big fans of them. And you can tell when they are just bringing out more and more new molds. This Elite Ultra is no exception. He is so badass. And leading the Banished Forces is Echrium. Echrium, Echrium. This awesome brute leader, he's apparently meant to be the big baddie of Halo Infinite. Probably we're not even gonna see Atriox in the campaign, it's just gonna be this guy. So really great to see him in packaging and yes, Fred is also in this wave. I do want to point out that Eshrium and Fred were in a Mega Construct set together and now they've also been in Jazzware. What a menacing brute. Here he is folks with his hammer, the Diminisher of Hope Axe. Like what a name, the Diminisher of Hope. And I guess this brute is meant to be just that. He's wiped out the UNSC forces on Zeta Halo. He's taken control and Jazzware, they've really done him proud here. The Jazzware three pack with Tavares and Hyperius, I thought the brutes were a little too chubby, a little strangely molded, but this one hits home perfectly. This is an incredibly menacing foe and someone that I cannot wait to square off against in Halo Infinite. I think he'll probably be the last boss fight of the game. I love that red eye detail as well, man. Wow, battle damage and wearing marks all over his armor. This is a seriously cool figure and the one that I would recommend you picking up above all else in this series. I think this guy will go for a lot of money, but of course, you know what figure we're building up to. It's the grunt mule, it's Victor the grunt. Yeah, he has been a meme on our channel for so long now and it's so great to see him in jazzwear form as well. He looks so great and a lot of the time, Grunts sort of get sidelined when it comes to big figures because people don't want to pay, you know, $10 just for a grunt. But this one has a lot of accessories, two weapons, and the disruptor cannon with the pulse carbine. Like, this is a really excellent figure. So I don't think people are worried about buying this, spending $10. I think it's definitely worth it. Let's see him closer. We here at the domain were the first people in the world to reveal Victor the Grunt, the Grunt Mule, to everybody in the Halo community. So it's been so nice to see him 
eventually make it into both Mega Constructs and Jazzware form. He's got a lot of detail, red marks with battle damage all across his armor. The scratch marks, the same as Eshrium, just really play a key role in making this guy stand out and feel weathered and realistic. Then the Disruptor Cannon looks great in his hand. He's got some nice wrist detailings and the Pulse Carbine you can see perfectly there. The Banished Red, I, I always say guys, Banished Red, it's just the coolest color scheme to incorporate into your figures and in game. So Victor the Grunt, let's hear it for our boy. Victor. He looks fantastic. Even a silver detail on his crotch piece like this is very nice. Very impressive. Jazzware just, they really do seem to be scaling up their production, scaling up their detail, their weathering, their battle damage. Now, banished out of the way, let's talk about the chief. The Master Chief in gorgeous metallic green. This is a very clean looking Master Chief. There's no weathering or battle damage. We've been very used to seeing scratching and sort of scorch marks on his chest, but no, this one's very clean. He doesn't come with the grapple shot. This is just a metallic one, but I thought it would be really nice to show this one off today. So did Kevin. The commando rifle looks great. Honestly, if you're gonna get any Chief, get the metallic green, man. Like, I just love metallic green. I love when Mega Con Construct started to introduce Metallic Green into their Halo Infinite figures, and I love it right here with Jazzware. Metallic Green, it just always pops in the glossiness. I'm just a big fan. Yeah, there's no battle damage, and yes, I'm sure if you're a Jazzware collector, you already have a Chief in your collection, so maybe you don't need another one. But if you're considering getting another, you should make it this one. That 117 on his chest is awesome. The gold visor reflects perfectly along with all the glossiness. It's a really great figure with that commando rifle as well. Big win. Of course, Chief can't go into battle alone. He needs Fred. Frederick 104 here, really great that he comes with the Chief and also, like I said, interesting that he comes with Eshrium. I think them two will have a showdown at some point in the game. Mega Constructs and Jazzware have both hinted towards it. So great that we're starting to get Blue Team, especially the Shadows of Reach style Blue Team in both Mega Constructs and Jazzware. We need Kelly and Linda now, but I'm sure they're on the way. Fred being shown off on a white background now with his DMR, and yes, you can see that the DMI is bent. Unfortunately, Jazzware does make a lot of their weapons with soft plastic, so they are prone to bending and it's quite hard to get them back into the position they once were. I've heard a lot of similar things with sniper rifles as well, but Frederick looks so great. He looks like he's straight out of the package anime and Shadows of Reach. What I do wish, and I wish this with a lot of these figures, is that the Kukri knives on his shoulders were removable. Unfortunately not, they are just a nice detail, and I do appreciate that the silver hilt of the blade is present, and you can see a little bit of nice gray detailing on his spine there. There are a lot of nice touches, just subtle details. We've got the 104 on his chest, a little red piece on his chest as well in the middle. I'm I'm in love. I need that Fred ASAP. Halo Collector, send me Fred, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping I'll find it at Target pretty soon. One more Spartan and one more figure for today. We've got the Spartan EVA. And yes, this is kind of like Kelly. Uh, the Spartans do all go together really nicely, but I'm sure we will get an official Kelly and Linda in wave five and six. Mark my words. The EVA is sporting a Halo Reach inspired assault rifle, which I, I love to see that yellow stripe on it. And let's Let's tear this open one last time and check out this EVA. If you've heard me say before, EVA is one of my favorite armors from all of Halo. I love every iteration of EVA, which can't be said for most armors, cough, cough, Halo 5. This one looks beautiful, straight back to Halo Reach, sort of Halo 3. I love that chest plate and all of the nice, highly detailed ammunition pieces. I love that assault rifle, which has three different colors, very generous. And the black and the gray of the assault rifle also match the two colors of the Spartan's jumpsuit and low pieces of their armor on the arms and legs. So a lot of thought has gone into this. Even the yellow stripe on the assault rifle kind of matches its visor. The assault rifle is definitely made for this figure, which I really respect. I really appreciate that. And there aren't that many other details to totally point out here. I just enjoy when you look at like the arm, it's not just one color. It's multiple colors blended, which just gives it so much of a more 3D realistic look to it. So that's the Spartan EVA. And while it's not the figure that I will be picking, 
picking up, it's still a really nice one. The two Spartans that I do need from this set are the Chief and Fred. They look really nice. I'm very, very impressed with those. And it's great that we have three Spartans versus three Banished, you know? That's a perfect even mix, even though I don't think a Grunt Mule could hold its own against a Spartan. But there's the Banished all side by side. A really nice team up. We've got a Leader, we've got an Elite, and we've got a Grunt. That's fantastic. I want to see more Elite Leaders in Halo Infinite from some of the campaign previews I've seen. I'm going to get that wish. All of these Jazzware figures, Wave 4 already, that's two waves a year. I'm so impressed with Jazzware, man. They're putting out so many vehicles, figures, and their Spartan collection is also just so great. So shout out once again to Halo Collector for all this footage. We're working on halocollector.com. This website's going to change everything. And for all your Halo collecting news, stick it with the domain.